Miss Beard is Weird, Chapter 8, Free for All. When we got to school the next day, everybody was told to go around to the playground, and you'll never believe in a million hundred years what was back there. A giant swimming pool, and it was filled with mud. Welcome to the real teachers of elementary school, Miss Beer said into the camera. We know the teachers here are great singers and dancers. Today we're going to see if they're any good at mud wrestling. Yay, everybody went except for Andrea, who rolled her eyes and said it looked disgusting. The teachers were standing at the edge of the pool wearing bikinis. It was hilarious. Even, believe me, Mr. Docker does not look good in a bikini. When I blow my whistle, all the teachers will jump into the pool, said Miss Beard. The first four teachers to climb out will advance to the next round. The others will be eliminated. Is everybody ready? This is going to be cool, I said to Michael. What are we going to learn from this, asked Andrea. It doesn't sound very educational to me. Oh, that's where you're wrong, said Miss Beard. While well, the teachers are mud wrestling, they also have to recite multiplication tables. On your mark, get set, go. Miss Beard blew her whistle. The teachers jumped into the pool. We all started yelling and screaming. As soon as Miss Small landed in the mud, she started to climb out of the pool. But Mr. Mackey grabbed her before she reached the edge and threw her in the middle. She was completely covered in mud. Then Mr. Mackey tried to climb out of the pool, but Miss Laney grabbed his leg and he fell face first in the mud. He made a big splat. Don't forget about your times tables, shouted Miss Beard. One times three is three, yelled Miss Leaky as she grabbed Miss Coco and put her in a headlock. Two times three is six, yelled Mr. Granite as he dived on top of Miss Yonkers. Mud was flying everywhere. Every time one of the teachers tried to climb out of the pool, one of the other teachers would pull them back into the mud. It was getting hard to tell who was who because all the teachers were brown and slimy and slippery. Three times three is nine, yelled Miss Hannah as she got hit in the hit with a mud pie in the face. Four times three is twelve, yelled Miss Laney as she belly flopped into the muck. Wow, these teachers are great wrestlers, shouted Miss Beard, and they really know their math. Finally, Miss Leakey and Mr. Mackey teamed up to dunk Miss Coco, and they managed to climb out of the pool together. Eat mud, you hot dog heads, shouted Mr. Mackey. The musketeers rule the pool. While they were celebrating, Mr. Granite and Miss Small climbed out of the, from the other end of the pool together. Miss Beard blew her whistle to signal that the game was over. Okay, she shouted. The winners are Miss Leaky and Mr. Mackey of the Musketeers and Miss Small and Mr. Granite of the Hot Dog Heads. The other teachers are eliminated. Let's give all our teacher wrestlers a big round of applause. We all cheered and whistled and clapped in a circle. Mr. Docker, Miss Coco, Miss Laney, Miss Hannah, Miss Yonkers, slowly climbed out of the pool, covered from head to toe with yucky mud. They looked like a bunch of chocolate-covered Easter bunnies.